Uh, I've showed y'all this old gin before and uh, today we're going to be hunting a similar site up in Ozan. There used to be a cotton gin up there. It was mud, probably similar the same, probably looked the same as this one here. And uh, this one here used to sit up on the other side of old, old, uh, Ozan. It sat on the other side of Ozan between Ozan and Nashville. This one did right here. But the one, the site where we're going to hunt is in Ozan. So I'll get back with you in a little while. Okay, we're back up here at the old gin site, cotton gin site. And uh, actually this is uh, Ozan water tire up here. Of where I'm at, I'm inside the fence. The uh, mayor gave me permission. He said he's gonna leave the gate open for a while. They're doing some pumping or something up here. But anyway, uh, the other day I was up here and I found a silver Roosevelt dime out there close to that fence behind the building, this blue building here. And uh, the blue building is where actually where the cotton gin was supposedly sit, supposed to sit. So, uh, but uh, the mayor told me that out here. In front of the water tire, uh, way back in the day, there used to be some old homes that sat out there. So we finna go out there and hunt out there in a little bit. I'll get back with you if I find anything good. All right, I just made my first find, and I'm not really sure what it is. It looked like part of it used to be a bullet, but it's been like it's been cut in half, and it's hollow. Ain't that something? I don't know what that is, but anyway, we'll keep it. It's a relic. Well, we'll get back with you if I find anything else. Well, guys, I wanted to tell you something. Ula got kicked off a of site this morning, but I'm going to tell you something. It's all good, okay? And uh, I did have permission to be on the site. The mayor came down there, and uh, I was out there hunting them old house sites, and uh, he come walking up, and he said he had had a meeting with some of the town council members, and they didn't... I guess they didn't want me out there, so he had to come down and give me the bad news, you know, but and he he was real apologetic about it He was real nice and he even said he'd help me find some more sites to hunt up there and uh, So and he was real good about it. And so it's all good. Okay uh, uh, That sometimes it happens and there's nothing we can do about it even though we do have permission, okay? Uh some people get in their heads that, you know, that there's, you're going to do something wrong or something, you know, who knows what, but, you know, anyway, that's the way it goes, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get, it, find some other spots to hunt, and like I said, it's all good, the mayor, he was real, like I said, he was real apologetic about it, he was real nice, it wasn't ugly or nothing, you know, and, uh, he had to live with them folks, and, you know, it ain't his fault, you know. He he gave me permission, and uh, he was real nice about it. So, uh, and he's gonna help me find some other sites. So, so it's all good. So, we'll get back with y'all later, okay? Well, he finally cleaned up up here at the old Columbus High School, and uh, finally, and you can tell we're getting we got some thunder thunderheads going by. I hope they keep on going by. I hope they don't. I hope it maybe won't rain us out. I hope we don't get lightning struck. But anyway, I'm going to get out here and swing this coil for a few minutes see if I can find anything. Get back with y'all if I find anything good. Guys, this is Ula saying good luck with your hunting and God bless. Fellow, he's a really big dude with an attitude that's mellow. He's dead.